So now that we have a stable first version of our app, it's a good moment to deploy it. It's not a good idea to do that only at the end of your development. As soon as we do, it's better. So if you remember, we can deploy our Meteor apps to any Docker environment, to any Node.js server, and you can use the recommended way that's using Galax. So this is the way that we will follow on this lesson. Now, what is Galax? Galax is part of a service called Meteor Cloud. And Meteor Cloud is a full service cloud solution created for Meteor apps. And Galax is where we host our application. We deploy it and we can monitor it on Galax. So in this video, we are going to create a new repository on GitHub to keep our source code. And we are going to create a new account on Meteor Cloud. And from there, we will set up our app to be deployed. Before doing that, let me explain you something. Uh, we have here the project called Meteor Wallet, but in my case, I will go uh, two levels up and you can see that I have this starting with Meteor folder. Inside of it, I have three other folders, lesson one, two, and three. And I have this structure just to make it easier for you when you finish a lesson, you can just compare your code to mine, just go into the repository that we will create and check the final code of the lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and so on. So in your case, you can use just your project folder as the host of the GitHub repository. But in my case, I will use starting with Meteor, that is another folder. So let me clean this up and I will go to GitHub. I will create a new repository and it will be called starting with Meteor. I will leave the description blank for the moment. It will be public and I won't initialize with any of these options. I will just create the repository. As we have a new repository, we will follow those instructions but in our case, we already have a few files. So I will just init the repository. I will add all the files that you have and I will commit our first commit. So let's go back here and I will run first git init. So our git repository is initialized. I will add all the files. So git add dot and git commit and I will add the comment first commit. Okay, so now we have to define our main branch that will be named main and also associate our project to this repository. So we will add this remote origin and finally pushing. So git push to the origin main. All right, let's check. I will refresh my GitHub page. And yeah, it is there. So for the moment, we are inside this Meteor wallet. And this is our project. We are working now on the lesson one folder. So let's go to the Meteor cloud. It's meteor.com slash cloud. And we will sign up and create a new account. And this is our project. We are currently on the lesson one. So let's go to meteor.com slash cloud and I will sign up and create a new account. So to create a Meteor Cloud account, the best way is to use your GitHub account. But in my case, I want to show you how to create from scratch. So I will create a new one. I will define my username as Federico Maya new, then I will use this other email and define a password. Let's create. Okay. Welcome to your Meteor Cloud dashboard. So let's go. There are a few instructions here. It's a good thing to follow and read everything. I already have done that. 
So if you click on continue, you can read a few instructions and now close the guide. So this is the Meteor Cloud dashboard. We can see a few useful information right here. My username, how many organizations I am in, uh, how many apps we are hosting in Galax, how many apps are monitored by NPM, and also which packages, how many packages we are using from Atmosphere. So we are at the stage of deploy our application to Galax. So you can deploy from your machine manually. And to do that, we could go to our project folder and basically run the command Meteor deploy. And we define the name of the app and we can pass these two options, dash dash free and dash dash mongo. In this way, we are creating a free account. So you don't have to pay anything as you saw we didn't have to put our credit card information and anything like that. So we could deploy our app and we will deploy our app using a free account. And we also get a free MongoDB. This free server that Meteor provides us is not for real applications, but if you are just starting, it's a good way to do it. To deploy our app, we go to Applications. Then click on Deploy New App. And we have to set up our GitHub to give access to Meteor Cloud. So I will set my personal account and set up Meteor Cloud on GitHub. I will select my account again. You can give access to all your repositories, but I will select just the one that I want that is starting with Meteor, the project that we just created. All right, install and authorize. So this is setting up Meteor Cloud on our repository. Okay, it is here, so I can select now that I use this repository, go to the next step. For the moment, we are going to use this free account. So I don't have to add my card here or anything like that. And if you want, you can select other options, but you have to put your credit card first. We will use the free account that is a tiny version, but it's more than enough for us to just test our applications. You can also select which region we want your servers. I will leave US East 1. If you are using a paid version, we could increase our memory run, but I don't want to do that. And it is asking which is the branch to deploy. We have just the main branch, so it is correct. And this is the option that will give us also a MongoDB free for use. So I will leave that selected and I will click deploy app. All right, we have to provide a host name. So I will define this as Meteor Wallet. And I will put dash thread because then when you are doing that, you can just do the same. You can define as Meteor Wallet dash your name. So now deploy app, it is saving. And that's it. It's saying your app was successfully configured. So we can now check our app on Galax. Let's go to there. So when we finished that configuration, Meteor Cloud started this process. So we can see each step that is doing right here on this activity. We can see that one container is created already. And this loading means that our application is starting. We can just wait a little bit. And once it's finished, we will be able to access our app on this address. Oh, actually, I think our build failed. And I think I know the reason why. If you remember, we have a different structure in our project. So the host folder is not the Meteor project folder. So we have to tell Meteor that. So I will go back here to Meteor Cloud and I will edit my configuration. So if there is anything you have to change after you set up your project, you can just go back in Meteor Cloud and edit from here. In my case, I want to change 
the root folder. It is here on advanced options. And in my case, will be lesson one slash meter wallet. So if you have a different structure like this, you can just add this information right here. And I will click deploy app again. And let's go to Galax. And now I hope that it will be okay. So this was the message we saw before that the build failed. Now there is new changes in the push to deploy. And then our build is in the queue. And now the build is started again. So let's wait for it to be finished. All right, I think our app is up and running. So we can access this address and we can actually just click here and check if it is okay. Oh yeah, we can see our app. Let's check if it is working. So I will put Fred from Galax, then this email and then a URL for our image. Save contact, yeah. It's working. So you can actually just access right now this address and you'll be able to see this app working. So this is really cool. It was so easy. We just set up our GitHub repository and Meteor Cloud and Galax did all the rest. We have very useful information right here, but in other modules, we are going to explore more Galax and Meteor Cloud itself. So with that, we can just check if Galax is working fine. So I will just change something in our code. It might be this. So let's put Meteor Wallet and I will add Galax from here. So I will commit this change, git commit, and I will put add Galax to the title. Oh yeah, we need to do a git add and then git commit and then git push. All right, let's see if Galax will recognize that and build and deploy our app again. So we can check right here on this activity, this new commit will trigger a new deploy. And yeah, it is there. So build is started for commit. So now it is very easy to deploy new versions of our app. We basically push our changes and Galax will do the rest. So at least in the end of each lesson, we're going to deploy to keep our application up to date on Galax. And basically that means we're going to push our code to our GitHub repository.